It is the year 1901 and Albert Einstein is in big trouble after completing his diploma. He only acquired a Swiss citizenship and started working as a technical assistant in the Swiss patent office. The great scientist was yet to get worldwide recognition yet. And, without a PhD degree no one takes your work seriously. Other researchers don't even look back if you don't have a PhD degree. So, Einstein thought, let's do a PhD this time. The great scientist first went to Professor Heinrich Friedrich Weber. In the beginning, he went to attend Professor Weber's lecture full of interest. But he found them boring. Even Einstein himself could not stand the lectures more than two weeks. Damn it, instead of going to the lecture, I can go straight to the professor with my thesis topic, thought Einstein. As he thought, Einstein prepared a proposal for his thesis and went to the professor with the proposal. At first, Einstein proposed to work on the speed of light. Professor Weber disagreed to the idea and told him this is a nonsense topic. After that he went with the idea of working on electrical conductivity to the professor again. The great scientist was refused this time, too. After a few days, after hearing a problem on thermal conductivity, Professor Weber became charmed by the ideas of Einstein. In a hurry, Einstein sat down to write his thesis paper. He came to Dr. Weber's office with the manuscript full of interest, extended it to the professor. Einstein thought to himself, who is stopping my PhD degree now? But something worse was waiting. Dr. Weber had something else in his mind. He was angry about the fact that Einstein wrote the thesis on a dirty paper. He was furious to see the dirty paper and rejected the work. Einstein wrote it on cheap type paper instead of writing it on good quality paper. So, the professor asked him to write the whole thing again on expensive paper and bring it. Einstein came out and looked at the paper. What to write again on good paper? He was not happy with this feedback and threw the manuscript in the dustbin. There will be no PhD under Weber, E. Einstein understood. But that priceless manuscript written on cheap paper and the research was also lost. Distraught, Einstein abandoned his attempt at a PhD. Four years later in 1905, the remarkable year when Einstein started his breakthrough discoveries, it occurred to him to try again for a PhD. No matter how many discoveries you make, no one cares about your ideas if you don't have a PhD. This time he went to Professor Kleiner of Zurich. He wrote an entire thesis on the application of intermolecular force theory to gaseous substances. This time, Kleiner was furious with Einstein. He said, who are you to blow up the famous Professor Boltzmann's theory? It's a reject. As a last-ditch effort, Einstein took another piece of research on the structure of atoms to Kleiner in 1905. If something happens this time. But Kleiner intervened again. This time, the reason was stupid. The thesis written by Einstein was only of 24 pages. Kleiner fumed about how can a thesis be of only 24 pages. So, Einstein was rejected again and sent back to write a larger version of the thesis. Einstein came out sadly, again. There is nothing more to add to what has been calculated. He asked himself, what can be done? He thought, it was Kleiner's mood that spoiled it. If Kleiner's mood is good, he can go after him again. A few days later he went again. He said to Kleiner that he has written a new thesis. But in reality, only one new sentence had been added. But Kleiner was in a much better mood those days. The same thesis struck him after adding the new sentence. Approved PhD. Einstein sent this thesis work to the journal for further approval and publishing. But they rejected it as there was no experiment. And asked him to print after adding it. But complaints started coming in that there was a big mistake. After checking with a friend, Einstein's found out that he actually made calculation mistakes in his research. So, the adjustments were made and the thesis was sent again. Einstein's PhD thesis research was finally approved and recognized. Albert Einstein awarded a doctorate degree with the dissertation entitled, A New Determination of Molecular Dimensions. No one gets recognition in one day. The great scientist Einstein himself was not successful in research at his first attempt. So don't be disappointed if you don't get it at once.
neither did Einstein. Did he?